Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe leave a comment saying thanks. It really helps out the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon, and I've included a link in the description that will take you to the product page where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? It is a tower fan by a company called Aronimo. As you can see, it's sitting right here next to me. It is really nice and tall. Once you open it up, you are going to get a user manual that's going to explain all the details of how to control it and its features. You're going to get a quick setup guide that's going to tell you how to put on the base. The base is super easy. It's only going to take you about a minute uh, to put on. And then additionally, you are going to get a remote control. So that way, uh, if you're sitting on the couch or across the room, you can control the fan. It does have onboard controls right here on the top if you wish. So let's go ahead, jump right on in to the fan settings. I'm going to turn it on. As you can see, it has a nice bright screen right here at the top. Um, this thing can pump out some airflow. It has 2000 max CFM all the way up to 12 settings. One thing that just caught me off um, kind of by surprise is on the upper modes, you really feel that air hitting you from across the room. So it's to me, it's great for a large space, uh, but you can also use it for a smaller space because you can adjust all the way down to a one. So it has a lot of customability, which is really, really nice. Another feature that it does have, it has oscillating. So as you can see, there is a number here on the oscillating. That is basically going over the different speeds um, that you can change the oscillating pattern. It has a one through a four. Just simply press the button, then quickly press the plus or minus to get the desired speed. Otherwise, it'll go back to the fan speed. Um, once, if you have a spot that you're happy with, you can always turn off the oscillate if you don't want it, but the oscillating does do um, 120 degrees. Now, let's cover the modes, because that's kind of the next thing. Um, as you can see right now, I have uh, the cloud with the little lines. What that is meant to do, it's simulating a natural breeze. So it's going to go all the way up to that max setting, which here is three. And then it's going to, um, after a little bit, it's going to kind of dial down, dial up. So it's just supposed to feel like a breeze and instead of a stagnant air. Uh, if that's a feature you like, it's there. Uh, the next button, if you press it, it's going to be in the sleep mode. You can also activate the sleep mode by hitting the moon on the remote. So what does that do? That basically will, after about 30 seconds, turn off this screen. So if you don't like light at night, it's in your bedroom, uh, you can do that and it'll turn it off uh, so that way it's not disturbing you. The minute you touch the controls, it's going to turn back on, but then it'll know it'll turn off again in 30 seconds. After the sleep mode, it's going to go in auto mode. So what is auto mode? Auto mode, as you can see, we have a temperature gauge up here. It's going to have the ambient temperature around it, and depending on how hot it is, it's going to ramp up that fan speed. So the colder it is, the lower the fan speed, the hotter, the higher the fan speed. Um, so if you just want to have it on all the time, auto mode may be a feature that you may want. But if you don't like any of those modes, you can go straight to the standard static air mode, and this is just going to keep it at a consistent speed, and it will go from all the way 1 to 12. Now I want you to hear 12, because it's still pretty quiet compared to a lot of different things and fans out there. Um, you definitely can notice it. It's very white noisy like, but it's not obtrusively loud, which is really, really nice. But that means also on one, you can barely hear it. So if you do want this in your bedroom and you don't like noise, you can have it on a one and it's super quiet. If you do like noise, you can turn it all the way up and have that ambient sound. Um, kind of that white noise machine sound, if you will. Um, but overall, that's the ins and outs of this tower fan. Um, I'm a big fan of it. I do recommend it. I like how you can take apart all these pieces, makes it super easy to clean, get rid of that dust after time. Uh, if you lose the remote, it's got controls on the top, uh, but you also have the remote on the back here. Uh, it does have a slot here that makes it easy to pick up and carry, uh, which is really nice. It just plugs into a standard outlet. But yeah, overall, I do recommend it. If there's something that I missed that you're kind of curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. And that is it until the next video. You guys take it easy. Later.
Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.